Hello traders, welcome to Elias Blue. This is Stephen Gogoi. And in this video, I will uh, discuss about the zinc. So here you can see this is a zinc. And uh, one thing I want to tell you that mostly I trade in zinc. And I love this zinc and I trade uh, zinc every time. So Mr. Uh, here uh, Sony asked me and uh, Kurson Sony asked me about the zinc. So he told uh, uh, me to make a video regarding zinc so here you can see the zinc and one thing i want to tell in zinc when zinc is placing uptrend they are continuously doing uptrend right when they're uh, placing downtrend and continuously they will they are just running in a downtrend for the long time so here you can see this is a zinc a long rally right wrong uh, sorry long rally down up down so this is a four hours are they are running like that uh, in the zinc behavior so so in this video how i trade in zinc i'll tell you so the, right now you can see the zinc is running here like uh, you can see this is zinc and uh, this is the resistance line right and another is uh, this is a supporting line now they are running in a range so here you can see zinc is running here 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 like here so probability uh, here is zinc uh, retrace toward this level around 200 moving average. Have you seen first time bouncing from here? So we are expecting, but uh, we don't know. Nobody can uh, predict the future. So we'll go through um, with the trend. That means uh, most important thing: always go with the trend. Uh, trade with the trend. Don't try to change the trend. Right? nobody knows where it's going uh, what going to be happen in future right that is why i'll trade with uh, with the trend and it is very most uh, most important to trade in zinc always trade with the uh, trend okay so now we can see zinc is uh, we can project that market might reverse from this area right now let's see uh, how I trade in zinc. So zinc, uh, uh, this one, I told you that uh, zinc is running like that. So it is a resistance line they are forming here. It's a resistance line. There is a high probability to reverse market toward moving average, right? So now we can see here, uh, this is uh, because mostly I trade in zinc, okay? So we can see this one, my trading set, uh, setup here. And this is if you see in a daily. So let me remove the all the uh, line here. So right so here you can see i remove all data so why i told that this one i resistant strong resistance so pb if we see the previous market behavior right this is a strong resistance so it is a probability market reverse again toward uh this low right so now let's see my trading uh, setup and here you can see uh, for always I trade in uh, 15 minute but uh, I sometimes I observe this on a one hour chart also basically I uh, use uh, support and resistance line and after that I start selling or buying so my setup is uh, 15 minutes so here you can see let me tell you all right so uh, okay from uh, this month uh, Okay, today is 14 last day. Uh, you can see the last 14 uh, my trading uh, set up in zinc. So March 1st. Okay, so now we can see. Let me zoom a little more than you will able to understand. So I use two moving average here mostly uh, for entering the market. So here you can see this one first is uh, have you seen red one? This one red have you seen? And uh, this is a moving average 5 and this is 20. So I enter when it cross each other. So let me use uh, some uh, indicator I'm using here. So let me explain here. So first I use moving average. There is five moving average. This one five moving average. Have you seen five exponential? Twenty exponential and fifty, hundred, 
150 and 200 this moving average i use for support and resistance another this one yellow line is the simoco line and the period of uh, 26 have you seen it is uh, only kizusen line okay and another this one uh, this one kizusen line 60 period so i confirm when market cross each other in moving average uh, that will be my entry point and here you can see this one percentage r right this is a percentage r uh, i use uh, 45 period percentage i if you see parameter so 45 period parameter have you seen this one 45 okay now where is your my uh, where is my entry point in zinc okay so now you can see here uh, zinc is cross uh, this one have you seen this one uh, here exactly here cross not a not here let me let me draw in this candle have you seen this candle cross by five moving average to 20 moving average have you seen this blue cross by five moving average exactly here right so at that time you can see they broke this 21 uh, 26 and uh, percentage r is still above minus 50 have you seen so later you can see in this candle here in this candle they broke both are there that means when they will break this level so i'll enter so exactly here entered uh, they break this um 20 moving ever uh, sorry uh, candle who who is candle broke this one right so i enter here sell position right so now you can see after that the market you can see from this area um, yeah from this area you can see this one 2.7 almost i got two rupees i think uh, two rupees here now you can see another entry point here i was entered here when they cross each other here right so I entered here and here was a 2 rupees so I exactly took uh, 2 to 3 rupees always so you can see I exit now you can see here sometimes they have uh, given so like I came out market uh, from the market so here you can see this one this uh, candle and uh, broke this candle but uh, I'm not getting any opportunity enter for the sell direction because I always place just below this candle right uh, this this candle so i'm not getting any opportunity to enter right here uh, broke this one so similarly you can see here this candle this candle uh, the given buy signal and i place buy order but not hit my buy order again and if you see here another you can see this one have you seen this one uh, here cross here and cross by this candle right this candle i place order automatically um hit my sell order and you can see my exit point was very low because there are no exit point i have seen and i think from this area from this here this candle book right this area to this area around five rupees i got here right so similarly uh, uh, recently i enter here i think uh, this candle right so i think uh, just let me zoom here exactly i entered here so you can see this candle broke by this candle right so i entered this candle this candle broke this one and I entered just a book here so now you can see my price just a minute here I got three rupees of four rupees. three rupees I came out I think around three to four rupees I think so let me see here here right this candle I entered and you can see it was around six rupees by i came out when they cross here around four rupees right exactly i closed my position here around four rupees right so similarly you can see people are thinking there is an entry point but uh, is it entry point or no so here just a minute uh, 
this candle right and you can see here I seen an entry point here this candle this candle is broke right this candle but and uh, this candle and close here but I'm not getting any sell position right here but broke here but not able to get any sell position and again see, have you seen this one buy but I bought here this candle I bought in this candle but market again came down and I just uh, closed the position because here is a big resistance are here I think you remember this one resistance and uh, this one market suddenly I got that sell signal I came out from the market right this one so now you can see here the cross 50 level in this candle right and at that time similarly they cross each other moving average 5 to 20 and I place sell order here just to hit my sell order and I will wait to till if they are not able to cross I will hold my position right uh, this is my trading setup and I will I, I holding my position for the long term even also when I'm not getting any opportunity to uh, come out from the market I just uh, holding my position right so I hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching